shooting a video on your phone and can't memorize your script? Well, with this free teleprompter app, you can now record your video with the front-facing camera and read the script at the same time. It works in both portrait and landscape mode, and the text scrolls super close to the camera, so it looks like you're looking into the lens. That means people can't see that you're actually reading a script. Tricky, eh? This teleprompter app is great if you want to shoot, say, a 10 to 20 second social media story for Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn. Or maybe you want to record a longer one to two minute Instagram TV video or LinkedIn update, or even a welcome video for your website. So the app we're talking about today is called Teleprompter for Video. It looks like this in the App Store where you can see they showcase its best features and you don't need a teleprompter or auto cue device. Now all teleprompter apps are generally free and you'll get their basic features. But you usually have to shell out 10 or 20 bucks to unlock the best features. That is after they've already got you hooked. But with this app, you don't need to do in-app purchases to get its best features. Now I've already got this installed, so let's open this up and check it out. And here is what it looks like when you first open the app. You can see it's divided into three sections. We have on the left, the script, in the middle, obviously a video preview, and on the right, we have the controls. So before we go into the settings, just a quick preview of how it looks when we're playing. Press the play button, and you can adjust the speed on the fly to match the pace of the way you are speaking. Hit pause. And then to go into the recording, you just hit the record button. And we'll do that shortly, but let's check out the settings. And on the right hand side here, you can scroll between the different options. Uh, I like to start with the margin. Now here's the gold. If you have the text area wide like that, as you're reading, you can see your eyes go across the screen like so. And that doesn't really give you the effect you want. By having the text area very small and close to the camera, it doesn't look like my eyes are moving, which makes it look like I'm just presenting to you without a script. Now moving on to text size, you want to make sure that you have the text small enough so that you can read enough words as it scrolls when you've got that small text area. The mirror option is used when you've got a teleprompter device and you use that in combination with using the center position with a larger margin. But as we're using this just as selfie mode video, we're gonna go back to the position of camera, not the opposite, because that's not gonna be the position you want. And then we can go back to turning off the mirror. And let's put that text area down again. Moving on to stopwatch, you can include a stopwatch timer to give you time to prepare before you actually start reading. That's a good idea for five seconds. And then with the camera, you wanna make sure that you have the highest possible resolution, which is 1080 at the moment with this app. And uh, auto exposure lock, I'll show you that in just a second. You can use your grid if you like, I choose not to. And then there's a help section if you wanna find out more. So we'll go back. Another cool feature with this app is you can lock the exposure and focus. So right now you can see if I make myself brighter, the camera will go dark. And if I make myself dark, the camera will go bright. So if you're in a position where you're recording in changing lighting conditions and you just want to set the exposure and focus for your face, then just push, touch and hold the screen and that'll lock your exposure and focus. Now you can see if I do this, it doesn't change. So we're ready to record right now. And let's have a look at how we load in a script. So I've got one preloaded. I've also got a few queued up here for when I want to present. Adding a script is as simple as pressing the plus button and then you've got Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, so that's nice and easy to bring in your scripts and you can edit them within the app as well. So that looks like this. We're gonna to go to portrait mode. We can save that and then we come back to here. Speaking of portrait mode, at the moment I've got landscape mode set, but here's what it looks like when we are in portrait mode. As you can see, we've still got the text up the top, myself in the middle and the controls down the bottom. And if I'm doing, say, an Instagram story, um, then I am going to be looking straight at the camera up the top here without really looking like I am reading text. I probably want to make the margin size a little bit smaller there for this application. But let's go back to landscape because my neck is getting sore. So back we go, just the way I like it. 
To help me out, please give me a thumbs up below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this. Now, let's have a look at a demo recording. So we'll hit record and we'll see that countdown timer. Three, two, one, and. Welcome to Level Up Your Video Skills, the channel that inspires and educates you, a busy professional with all things video on your device and desktop. Let's pause it there for a sec. So I'm going to press the stop button and we'll head over to the preview and share screen. Okay, the first thing you want to do before anything else is save your video just so that you've got that locked in. Next, you can choose to add subtitles. Now, because you've already got the script written up, then when you press the add subtitles button, the program is going to insert these subtitles and we'll give a bit of a preview. Welcome to Level Up Your Video Skills, the channel that inspires and educates you, a busy professional. So that's a great feature. And if you were to save the video now, that would save a copy with the subtitles as well. So let's just do that. So now we've got two copies, but we can also export the SRT so that we can control that later on as we see fit. Let's remove the script for now. You can also add an image or logo change its size and position, as well as add some text if you like and customize that, which might be good for like an Instagram story or something similar. Once you're happy with your composition, you can also share directly from here and you've got a few options there to share. And here's what it looks like in portrait mode. So we'll hit the play button. Welcome to Level Up Your Video Skills, the channel that inspires and educates you, a busy professional with all things video on your device and desktop. A quick note about scripts, so if we come into the script and then go to an edit, you can see that up the top left, we have 529 characters used out of 1200. Now, with this app, it starts with 750 characters, and as you use the app, they will give you bonus characters and give you a maximum of 1200. Now, 1200 characters equates to about a minute and a half's worth of video recording. So if you want more than 1200, you're going to have to pay for premium. But I find that for almost every application, you can get away with 1200 characters. It's not often that you're doing uh, a full read of two or three or five minutes long in one take. So what you can do is break a long script up into a minute or a minute and a half long chunks, and then you can record them in bits and then stitch it together in your edit later on. Overall, I think they've done a great job with this app. Providing all these awesome features without having to do an in-app purchase is fantastic. So well done to the dev team at Teleprompter for Video. Watch this video next. You'll learn how to look good on video calls, on webcam, and in videos in general. I guarantee it'll help you when you make your next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you over there.